Husker fans know Jay Foreman is a team captain, all Big 12 selection, and one of the top tacklers in Nebraska history. He played eight years in the NFL, and just as impressive as his accomplishments on the field is his mission to help enhance the lives of those with diabetes. That's right. Speaking of looking good, right here to tell us about the Foreman right. Foundation, a big event. We're happy to welcome Jay to the Morning Blend. Good to see you, Jay. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, you betcha. Uh, what's the mission? I know you had this foundation. What's what's the mission of the Foreman Foundation? I obviously want to you know raise awareness and obviously for funds for uh, diabetes, just because. Uh, there's one to two million uh, new cases every year. Uh, everybody in my family, besides me, so I guess I'm just waiting uh, to be diagnosed, it, are type 2 diabetic. So it's uh, something that hits home with me and something I'm very passionate about. So this is a long-term thing I'm going to be involved in, not only with myself and then some teammates as well. This is obviously a personal connection for you. You just mentioned a lot of family members. How does it impact their lives and your lives in turn? Oh, well, I have three family members that died uh, from complications of it. And then obviously my dad is a diabetic. He just uh, had part of his foot uh, cut off. So that's something that was obviously traumatic. Uh, so, it, you know, how they eat, how they live on a day to day basis is very hard for when they get older because they're set in their ways. And so for the younger generation, including myself, more education, awareness uh, that you can have can obviously hopefully um, delay it as much as possible. Yeah, it's not just awareness for you, but you're living it. Because um, yeah. I was asking you about, you know, your are you going to go eat some pizza over at your yeah, buddy's yeah. place? He said, no, I stay away from that. So you're really trying to practice and, and eat well to prevent from you know, being Yeah, it's, it's hard for me because I love pizza and I love sugar. And uh, yeah. you, when you hear those two things with a former athlete, you're like, you know, what, what's going on? But uh, those are two of the biggest things that are my, I guess, my fixes that I need to get rid of. And I've made a, a conscious uh, effort to get rid of it and obviously to stay in shape. Uh, to try to work out as much as possible, uh, to try to eat healthy, and then obviously uh, to live a healthy lifestyle as well. We're looking at some pictures right now of your playing days with the Huskers, and you have some Husker friends that are also involved in this event that you've got coming up. Tell us about the event. Yeah, we're doing the first annual Foreman Foundation uh, Bowlathon on uh, February 28th down in Lincoln at Parkway Lane. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a pretty uh, small event. We're going to try to start small, then obviously grow it every year. We're excited about it. Uh, we've got Jason Peter, Tony Veal, and myself. Uh, Steve Warren, my dad's going to come down, so that's, uh, oh, that's even great, even yeah. a pretty cool uh, deal with him. But we're excited about it. We're raising some funds, raising awareness, and we're going to have a good time, and that's the most important thing as well. A few people out there may not know your dad. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> shed some light on your dad because he's uh, he a He played pretty, a little ball. played a little football in his yeah. day. Yeah, he, he should be in the Hall of Fame. I am biased, but, you know, his stats and, and how he had effect on the NFL, he should be in the Hall of Fame, I always tell him that he didn't pass down the athletic ability. It's supposed to be better right. you know, yeah, exactly. as when, I, when I came along, but uh, he's a pretty good player. He played with the Vikings when they went to three Super Bowls, and uh, he had an awesome career, and he's been very supportive of me, not only on the field, but off the field as well. Yeah, the money raised from this event, uh, how are you going to use it? Oh, the, this year, we're going to um, raise money to uh, buy um, insulin pumps for two people, and then obviously award two other people uh, with a year-long um, strips for their uh, di diabetes insulin pumps. Can people take part? Can they watch? How can they get involved? Uh, well, obviously, they can go to my uh, website, jforman56.com, and then obviously sign up if they want to have a, a bowling team. Also, they, um, through First Giving, Foreman Foundation is accepting donations. Uh, but then also, if they show up, they can come down and meet some players there and mingle with some of the former Huskers as well. Just really a fun event, so we encourage you to get down there. Um, jforman56.com is yeah. your website. Yeah, you can't. Oh. Well, Another guy who tweets. Yeah, he does tweet. He's got a yeah. Twitter. Uh, while we got you here, let's talk about the recruiting class for Nebraska. I know yeah. you're still talking about Nebraska football. You stay up to date on it, and you do some radio as well. What did you think of the class this year? I think it's pretty impressive. I think, uh, you know, it started out really good, and then they had a couple of decommits, and then they really ended up with a, a bang. I think the re recruiting class this year and the last couple of years has really gotten better and better. So I think it's now uh, they're starting to get some of the ingredients. Now we just got to go and, and cook the gumbo. So I think they're, the <laughs> offensive line – guys that they have coming in this year are pretty impressive. They I say think it could be Pelini's best offensive line class. I, I think so on paper and they have yeah. some guys that have they're good athletes, they're big enough, they're strong enough and so I think I think this year is going to you're going to see more freshmen make impact this year especially on the offensive line than ever before. Yeah. Awesome. But the, the class itself wasn't highly rated. Like 30th, 30 seconds, something yeah, like that. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. The stars mm -hmm. and all that stuff, it's all about where you're from and, you know, how much money your, your high school is pumping into these different magazines. I think they have a good class. There are, everybody's going to be productive. Awesome. Well, we'll be watching it. Thanks for uh, joining us this morning, sharing a little light on football and telling us about your Yeah, yeah. learn about as the well. Foreman Foundation. Again, jforeman56.com is his website. Thanks a lot, Jay. Yeah, thanks for having yeah, me. All the best right. with the bowling. Are you a good yeah. bowler? Average, average at best. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look forward to checking that out. I've yeah. seen some much. of those former Huskers bowl. Yeah. I don't know. They're not that good. I'd big, rather see them on a football field.